101 celebrates our furry little friends. Today, the Pixie Bomb, the Domestic Long Hair, the Cheeto, the Australian Mist, the Napoleon. And we start with the cat that's so ugly, it's cute. The Bambino. What walks with a waddle is soft like suede and gets mistaken for a monkey. It's no joke, it's the Bambino. The Bambino, I mean, you just say that and you have to smile. These little sluggers boast a unique combination of little legs and hairless hides. Here's a very unusual cat, both genetically and to look at. Some breeds get by with just one rare gene, but this cat is an overachiever. Both the hairless gene and the short-legged gene are naturally occurring mutations, purposely combined to create the Bambino. They're very mischievous. Some people say like a monkey. Bambinos are known for running, jumping, and climbing just as rambunctiously as their taller counterparts. They do have a distinctive sort of waddle but they certainly get around as quickly as other cats. Like all cats, the Bambino has a loose wrinkled skin that is the thinnest and most flexible of all domestic animals. Thanks to the Bambino's hairless nature, you can see every detail. Which might not be good if you're a Hollywood cat, because you can't hide your wrinkles. The first Bambinos were bred by crossing hairless sphinx cats with short-legged munchkins. Because their diminutive stature gives them a kitten-like look, they were dubbed Bambino, Italian for baby. You'll know it's a Bambino when you see that the long bones in their upper legs are actually short. Even though the Bambino is shaped kind of like a dachshund, they actually don't have back problems. They're just a little bit lower to the ground than other cats. Atop their head is a pair of forward-facing ears with lynx-like tufts of hair at the tips. And their wrinkly skin can either be truly hairless or have a faint fuzzy down. It's like petting a warm peach. Yes, to Bambino owners, bald is beautiful. Olivia Hilco knows her Bambino was named Voodoo. I'm still allergic to Voodoo, but because he doesn't have hair, he doesn't leave pet dander everywhere. I'm really not miserable with allergies at all. Six-month-old Voodoo spends his days playing with toys, loving his family, and good-naturedly enduring his weekly Bambino baths. Olivia's two daughters, three-year-old Maisie and two-year-old Miley, absolutely adore babying their Bambino. I think we don't like slide. But there's something else you should know about Voodoo. Voodoo has a unique friend named Spartacus, and Spartacus is a pig. A cat and a pig living together? On the same day Spartacus and Voodoo came to our home, Voodoo jumped right into bed with him, and it's been best friends ever since. Seven-month-old Spartacus won't always be Voodoo's size. Adult pigs, even pets, can grow to over 100 pounds. But for now, the relationship between cat and pig is growing. Their unlikely friendship holds lessons for the girls as well. They can learn to not discriminate against other animals that look different or feel different or are new to them. With that mission in mind, it's time to take this pig and kitten show on the road. You want to open the door? I'm a first grade teacher and they hear me talk about my pig and my cat a lot so they were so anxious to actually meet them. She hopes that they'll see you can't judge a cat by its cover. Most people, their first reaction when looking at Voodoo, they're actually frightened. Now it's the moment of truth. Voodoo is called a Bambino Sphinx. What makes him special is that he has no hair. Any questions? Does Voodoo ever take a bath? Does Voodoo ever scratch the pig? Does the cat and the pig ever sleep together? Every single night. By the end of the show and tell, they were actually warming up to Voodoo and they all wanted to touch him. Yes, the hairless house cat and his porcine pal are a hit. secure in the knowledge that they've taught a new generation that cats and pigs can be friends, Olivia is proud of her big-hearted Bambino. If you're thinking about loving a Bambino, here's what you should know. The Bambino suffers few health issues, however, their exposed skin can be sensitive to sunburns. If
If they're feeling chilly, a sweater will do the trick. Being hairless won't give you a break on grooming a bambino. The bambino actually might require a little bit more grooming than one might think. With no fur to absorb the natural oils produced by the skin, bambinos need to be bathed with a mild soap and water regularly. Attention should be paid to buildups of dirt on the eyes, ears, and nails. An affectionate and mischievous personality makes the bambino an interactive cat. Whether it's cool outside or warm, a bambino will probably want to be right in your lap. Overall, the Bambino is an unusual but healthy cat who shouldn't spend too much time in the sun. You'll need to go the extra mile to keep your Bambino clean. When you do, you'll have a fun-loving and cuddly cat who loves nothing more than to snuggle up to their family. One, 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 one.